Ever wondered why your ECG machine is giving you a headache with common issues like no signal or poor ECG tracing? Well, it's time to demystify these problems and provide practical solutions. No signal or poor ECG tracing can be a real pain, especially when you're dealing with a critical situation. The first step is to ensure that the electrode cables are securely connected to both the patient and the machine. The second step is to check the electrode's skin contact. If they're not properly adhered, reposition or replace them. Further, inspect the cables for any visible damage and replace any that are faulty. Lastly, confirm that the electrodes have not expired, as expired electrodes may not provide a proper signal. Now let's tackle those pesky artifacts on ECG tracing. Artifacts can distort the ECG signal, so it's important to ensure that the patient is relaxed and not moving. Additionally, check for interference from other electronic devices in the vicinity. Make sure the electrodes and cables are not touching each other to avoid interference. And of course, always ensure the electrodes are correctly positioned on the patient's chest. Experiencing a noisy baseline or drift, this can obscure ECG details. If you face this issue, check that the electrode contact is secure and without artifacts. If the patient is sweating excessively, try to control the moisture as it can affect the baseline. Check for loose or damaged cables and connectors. If all else fails, perform a baseline correction or filtering on the ECG machine if available. Inaccurate heart rate measurement is another common complaint. To resolve this, verify that the ECG machine settings are configured for the correct paper speed, which is usually 25 mm per S, and voltage, typically 10 mm V. Also, make sure the ECG machine is set to the appropriate lead configuration. Electrode or lead failures can also occur. Inspect the electrodes for wear or damage and replace them if needed. Check the electrode cables for visible damage or loose connections. Test different electrodes and cables to identify the source of the problem. And of course, ensure the electrode cables are securely connected to the proper lead placements on the patient. Paper jams or feeding issues can be frustrating. If the ECG machine has a paper jam, Carefully open it and remove the jammed paper. Make sure the paper roll or sheets are loaded correctly and check the paper quality. Power or connectivity problems can also arise. Make sure the ECG machine is receiving power from the appropriate source and that the power cable is intact. Verify that the ECG machine is correctly connected to the patient's electrodes and any data transmission devices. Calibration or settings issues can be another headache. Review the ECG machine's settings and calibration to ensure they are accurate. If calibration is needed, follow the manufacturer's guidelines or consult a qualified technician. Lastly, user error is a common but often overlooked problem. Ensure that the ECG machine is operated by trained and authorized personnel. Review the user manual and follow the recommended procedures. To sum up, Common ECG machine issues can be resolved by checking connections, ensuring proper electrode placement, verifying machine settings, and following the manufacturer's guidelines. Remember, the key to successful troubleshooting is patience and attention to detail.